In the whole world of yachting, nothing compares with cows. The famous week attracts the sailing community from the dinghy to the royal yacht. Britannia seems to cast a benevolent eye on the whole scene. Going aboard now were Princess Marina, her daughter Princess Alexandra and her son Prince Michael. Cow's Week is a royal week. Welcome in these waters are all who love the fine sport of sailing. Among that forest of masts, many belong to unpretentious vessels. For cows is no longer the preserve of the aristocrat and the millionaire, yet it retains its dignity. It doesn't encourage the visitor to take liberties. Maybe the little town remembers that it was first a fortress built in 1540 by Henry VIII. Tradition here means a lot. On yachts, the white ensign is flown only by members of the Royal Yacht Squadron, whose headquarters look out on the scene. Lord Camden, Vice Commodore of the Squadron, awaited the arrival of the Duke of Edinburgh. This is the first Cow's Week Prince Philip has attended in the dual capacity of Admiral and Commodore of the Royal Yacht Squadron. It's called the most exclusive club in the world. Certainly, wealth alone is no passport here, if they don't want you. Much notice was attracted by that famous yacht of the 12-meter class, Scepter. She raced for the America's Cup in 58. Though beaten then, she gives a very good account of herself in home waters. When these pictures were taken, Scepter had already won two races and was soon to win another. Her present owner, Eric Maxwell, now had Peter Scott sailing with him. A formidable combination. Across to the catch to Renia, Princess Alexandra and her brother were invited by the owner, Major Charles Ball, Vice Commodore of the Royal Thames Yacht Club. From Britannia, the Duke of Edinburgh stepped into Blue Bottle, the Dragon-class vessel which the Queen and he owned jointly. He was accompanied by Lieutenant Commander Jones, his new sailing master, and of course by his old friend of many races, Arthur Fox. The cameras had a good look at them, and Blue Bottle before their race began. But before the Dragons, another race for the 12-meter class. Conditions demanded spinnakers, much to the joy of waterfront spectators, with whom the Twelves are always a favorite sight. Incidentally, this was another race won by Scepter. Though the famous week has changed indeed since the fabulous days of the enormous J-class yachts, its fascination remains. And as sailing grows more popular every year, so are more and more people taking part, or wishing they were, in the sports at Cowes. <laughs> 